Thomas party. We gonna party hard. We gonna party hard. We gonna party hard. Hey, good morning. How are you doing, folks? Welcome back to Football Digest Daily. My name is Nyash. An excited one for that matter. Kasola kako wakandiko kako na vitamin D le halisi, you know? Before Yanze kugeuka iku another whole other story. It's Friday, man. It can only mean one thing, man. We're getting ready for game week five, my niggas and negresses, you know? I'm so excited, man. So, so much is happening today. First of all, Thomas party. We're gonna party hard. That song is dropping today. Donay. Donay. Yo, by the way, yo, Gina and Gumuk pronounce if you don't know it. <laughs> but that, that, that song, Thomas party, is gonna be dropping today specifically tailored for one Thomas party. I don't recall when there was a song tailored for a player. I can't remember. Can ya? I can't. It doesn't come to mind. So that song is dropping today. I'm waiting for it. I must do a dance for that one. I, I must do a dance for that one. I hope you have been having a good week. Let's check out what has been popping the last couple of days as far as football goes. Now, for starters, God Mahi have been given a training facility at Two Rivers Mall. I can tell you from where I am, I can actually see Two Rivers. Ndiyo hii, you call like a stone throw away. Lazima tufanya ka vlog na waso wa gor, man. Ay, ay, tu kwa na train ya hapa na aswezi hata enda kucheki wa ki train, man. That is something we're gonna do, man, because the Premier League, uh, Kenyan Premier League is gonna be back in a month. Uh, the fixtures are out, and man, tantalizing fixtures, you gotta say. Uh, some very good fixtures, they're opening ones. And this season, I wanna be more serious about KPL. We wanna focus more on KPL. You know, feature a few matches here and there. You don't have to do much. Kidogo too. Sacrifice a few uh, Premier League EPL games. Go catch a game, cast off a pack of a kitchen and a tasker. You're the game normal. I'm a tasker, a kitchen and a goal. I'm a trainer, a mega homeboys to a check you a kitchen and FC Leopards. In Gwe Dabi. You know what I'm saying? As in. Lazima to find some KPL matches this season, man, because I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited about Kenyan football. But this is using my excitos in my talk happy <laughs> about Kenyan football, but I, but I am. I am excited about Kenyan football. I'm waiting for it. So, of course, Gor Mahia, they got a training facility at uh, Two Rivers Mall, um, and they're going to be able to access all training facilities or fitness amenities at the Two Rivers Mall. And that is a big, big move, if you ask me. I think it's a very good move, if you ask me, that CK did. Very welcome move, very welcome move. Uh, Tuwane ka KPL mazeita panda kidogo in terms of quality ni nini nini. Uh, Tuwane itakuwaje, alright? Um, another thing that has happened this week happened on uh, Wednesday. Hari Maguaya. Hari Maguaya. Hey, 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 hey. Maguaya, fridge. Hey, fridge jana Wednesday imeishua na steam, imefanya mahaula huko. I mean... <laughs> So, Maguire, of course, England were playing against Denmark. He got red carded, I think, the first half. Yeah? And everybody was crashing down on him, man, like crazy. And deservedly so, because it was a rather stupid challenge, if you ask me. And I had. Could I point Flanny in that game, I had seen he has also done some crazy mistake. His handling of the ball was kind of poor. And eventually got red carded, and deservedly so. It was a red card foul, that, that, that foul. But, man, the dude is under some crazy pressure, man. He's the captain of Man United when Man United were walloped 6-1 juicy and people be saying like our captain is doing nothing. He's not even talking in the dressing room. All we are hearing is Bruno Fernandes speaking and we can't hear anything uh, that the captain said, you know. So, so much pressure on, uh, on Harry Maguire. He costed 80 million pounds, the most expensive defender in the world. As in, you have to live up to that price tag, you know. Um, so for him, man, it's crazy days. It's crazy days. I would hate to be a Maguire right now. Even more so, I would hate to be a Man United fan. Because, uh, I mean, it's terrible, man. It's terrible. And now, of course, they have a game over the weekend against Newcastle at St. James, St. James's Park. Mm. Mm -hmm. Apple, Apple, <laughs> Apple United, what a fryer. What a fryer. We shall see what will happen there. But of course, Maguire, man... You know, for some, some, for some reason, I kind of feel for him, you know. I mean, everybody's on his neck. We, eh, Maguire, Maguire, Maguire. He's even the fans of his own club. The last people you'd expect to be on your neck, they are on his crazy ass neck right now. You know, so it's unfortunate for him, but it is what it is. And maybe he'll get over that. He needs to get over that because he's a professional. And we expect him to. And he doesn't even have time to do that. Wakicheza Sato against Newcastle, I'm on his Sunday. No time to relax because on Wednesday, I think on Wednesday or Tuesday, they're going away to PSG. No time to relax because when they came back, they come back, they're hosting Chelsea at Old Trafford. 
as soon as they are done with that, they are hosting uh, Leipzig in the Champions League tie on Wednesday. As soon as they are done with that, they are playing against Arsenal. As soon as they are done with that, they are playing away at Istanbul Basahev. As soon as they are done with that one, they are going to host Everton. As in, Hapa, Maguire better recollect himself very quickly. Or it will go very badly for him in a very short period. You know, uh, before the international break, which is going to be like a month, we're talking about almost, uh, almost uh, what are those, six, seven games in a month's time. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. So he better recollect his shit as quickly as he can or else <laughs> at a in more trouble. All right. Uh, and I hope he does. Also, in this international break, we have seen one Eddie Nketiah. Yeah, break the young lions all-time goal scoring record and of course people be like oh Eddie is 21 what the hell is he doing people are 21 are playing the international team and uh, You know, you only beat what is in front of you to start with right and in Katie is not has been it's not like he's been playing forever for the under 21s He has played in uh, is it 12 games is he has played in 12 games and he has 14 goals in 12 games Ukiangalia hata akina Harike na angalia akina manaitwa um, akina Rashford all those dudes when they started playing how many games have they played for the under 21s I can bet you as it's more than 12 games and they did not score 14 goals I can bet you as I'm willing to bet and also in Ketia is coming up in this period where now in England there are so many good strikers like proper number 9s who can bang goals unlike time you know Marcus Rashford akukwa na while a fully fledged number nine who can score goals for England. Because your time you can win Runi when you have a score. Because even you can win back. As in, you can Darren Bent. See, you must strike a car in a hurricane when you are in a car. Calvert Lewin. I'm a car Danny Ings of refound their form and they are banging goals like crazy, you know. So, in Ketty has to compete with such likes. And that's most probably why he plays for the under 21s. But like I said, you only beat what is in front of you and he's doing quite good at that. He's doing quite good at that, and it's, it's a fantastic record for him, regardless of where it is, regardless of where it is. Today is also uh, the deadline day for the transfer window at all. Yani Leo, after today, 1 p.m., 1 a.m., sorry, in Atingwa, Kabisa, Adi January. You know, there was that extension of almost two weeks that has been given, or I could call it, yeah, I could say two weeks, yeah, or 11 days, if you like, uh, from the closure of the international window in terms of trading with teams outside England. And now it was given an extension of 11 days where teams within England can transfer and make a uh, business. Uh, and it has actually happened for teams like West Ham. They have signed Ben Rama from uh, Ben Rama or Ben Rama, if you like, from Brentford for, I think, 30 million pounds or something of the sort. Um, they're also looking towards getting Josh Keane from Bournemouth. So uh, teams like West Ham, when you to complete their businesses um, during the normal transfer window, they had, they had, they had that extension, and today is going to be the deadline day of the whole transfer window. Um, we've also seen Nathan, Nathaniel, I was going to call him Nathan, uh, Nathaniel Klein has joined Crystal Palace on a short term deal from uh, Liverpool. Uh, of course, another deal that is allowed to happen, and it has happened, he's gone to uh, Crystal Palace, like where they all began for him, if I'm not wrong. Did he begin at Southampton or Crystal Palace? I think he began at Southampton, if I'm not wrong. Then he went to Liverpool. Um, this week, there has also been uh, news and stories and rumors about the uh, project Big Picture. And it was flatly, flatly rejected by the Premier League sides and Premier League teams. They voted against it overwhelmingly. So it's not going to be happening anytime soon. But they are having um, talks. Of course, talks are going on how they can restructure the, the football uh, leagues in England and the football clubs in England. Because they kind of feel like there's some restructuring that is needed there you know because now the other small clubs which are kind of community clubs wanna wanna umizwa sana because fans are not going there they're more inclined towards uh towards the bigger teams and of course they are not cannot go to, to the stadium so they're making less finances they have been a crazy time for the last six months so it's crazy for those teams and they kind of need to be bailed out so they, they for, the, for that to happen, there are some restructuring that is going to have to be done, you know. So they are working on that, and of course, which we shall be knowing the next coming days slash weeks uh, what is going to be happening in that uh, with that regard, whether it's going to be happening or not. I've also seen somewhere I think the EFL clubs rejected a fifty million pounds bailout by is it the Premier League or something? Yeah, they rejected it all. No, I don't know why because I'm sure as hell those clubs need that money. Hey, <laughs> they need that money like yesterday. Everybody needs money right now. I even do need money myself, but it is what it is. Um, what else have I seen? So Project Big Picture has been thrown out of the window. It will have to come back as something else altogether. 
all together kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka kusema na nimesahau it related to to such related to that uh, what was it ah ah oh yeah there's going to be a debate in the UK parliament uh, where they're going to be talking about or debating over whether they can bring back the fans into the stadium is going to be happening on 9th of November right on my birthday <laughs> Right on my birthday when in the UK they're going to be discussing whether they should bring back the fans or why in the let to what exactly is going to happen with that regard so it's almost certain that between now and then there's not going to be any fans or between now and the next international break there's not going to be any fans in the stadiums stadiums in England and like where we've seen even in the international break there are some teams that have fans inside uh, we have seen even in club football uh, some places like uh, Bundesliga, they have allowed a couple of fans to get back into the stadium. And I think also Syria, if I'm not wrong. So, yeah, maybe in, in England they also need to adapt the same and, and come up with measures of how they can get the fans back to the club. Because, you know, the fans are everything. They are everything in football and more so right about now. Okay? Um, of course, uh, with regards to the games coming up over the weekend, we have big clashes all over. We have the Masses Idabis to start with, the Ali Kikov. Now, Uogope Ali Kikov, Ogopa Ali Kikov. Ogopa ali kick off Jupali inakuwa 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 balamba uh, also Liverpool I think are going to be without Alisson another thing to be wary of Adrian lately I'm kind of suspect if you ask me but it's a derby I'm looking forward to it we also have another big game on Saturday Manchester City versus Arsenal ay, 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 ay. of which by the way I understand KDB might be fit for this game kulikuwa uh, some doubts out of him pulling out of the you know uh, the international matches for England or international match for England uh, for Belgium sorry so there were some doubts as to whether he might be playing or not uh, it turns out he might actually start one guy I don't know however if he's gonna be starting and maybe you'll know that today is one Kun Aguero because he's back in training but I don't know if he's much fit already to, to be playing against a team like Arsenal time will tell on that one alright that's all today we're gonna be having an IG live session of course as always from 7.30 okay from 7.30 we shall be talking to one guy uh, so don't fail to join us as we digest game week 5 We see the talking points and what to check out for As uh, the Premier League returns this weekend And I'm so excited for it Back to back action, yani Back to back, it's gonna be crazy man But in the meantime, we gonna party hard uh, We gonna party hard We gonna party Hey, Jeremy Lynch, nangoja fanya kama yeye Just do the edits and release the song so that we can all go crazy Alright? That's all for now, folks. Have a fantastic Friday and a fantastic weekend. Uh, let's catch up at 8 o'clock at 7.30 p.m. on IG Live and as we discuss more about uh, the games being played over the weekend. Okay? Cool? Fine? Dandy? Great. Good day. Take care.